as we get ready for basketball. Harley, you got the camera angle as well as the color. And just like we anticipate, uh, Golden Plain starts in that man-to-man -man pressure defense as Cox gets it here and, and throws it to Baird, but Baird goes over her head. First turnover here for Northern Valley, and that's what they got to avoid coming out of this. Golden Plains to open it in here into the short corner. Can't really see who that is down there. I apologize. As Northern Valley is in a uh, zone, looks like they're in a triangle. No, they're in a box and one. They've got box and one. They've boxed up Cassie Miller, and a foul's going to be called down here on Northern Valley. You got the foul. Who was it? Uh, 11. Who is 11? Shaley Vesteca with the foul. That's the first team first. Here we go. So 40, no, 26 seconds in, we get a warning on the Northern Valley coach. Number 30, Ashley Stoll goes to the line, knocks in her first free throw. She gets two attempts on this one. Second one is also good for Ashley Stoll. Pressure man-to-man -man defense here on the uh, on, on the inbound as uh, Braxton Cox gets it in. Brianna Roth all over her, picks it up here and stolen inside. Stoll is a miss with that one and Vesteca with the rebound. Whitney now to Cox, who's going to go around Stoll to the rim, up and not going to get the foul call going to the rim, but it'll be out of bounds as Austin Cox took it hard to the rim and uh, going to draw the foul. First foul on Brooks Stoll, first team foul against the Bulldogs. Jump ball going to go over to the Bulldogs. What are you seeing here, Harley? Well, it just depends what you're, what you're asking of defense. Looks like they're in a 2-3. Okay. Now Northern Valley switched it up. Looks like they're going to go into a triangle and two. They've got uh, two of them, and they're going to be on Miller, and he, she's going to get the ball anyway and go up directly to the rim and score Cassie Miller. He's stolen again here, and she's going to get another bucket, two quick buckets here by Cox. Gets it inbounded here to Braxton Cox. And she's going to dribble through this press. Ashley Stoll's got her marked. Now to Baird on the wing. Northern Valley looks like they're running about a f uh, five out as Cassie Miller just takes it away from Baird with her second steal of the game quickly already. Brooks stole open over here. Going to pass it to Rath. A wide open three up and going to be no good as Ashley Stoll fired that three-pointer and went up and over the stanchion and it'll be out of bounds to Northern Valley. Northern Valley's got to figure out a way to get through this pressure here of, of uh, Golden Plains as that's really where Golden Plains has made their hay, their entire program. This one was stolen by Rath as the Bulldogs reset the offense. Stole into the corner to um, Work. Work's long jumper is no good. Rebound controlled by Braxton Cox. Jump pass to Austin Cox will fire the three. This one will be short, but she grabs her own rebound. Second one up and good for Austin. Ashley stole, and this she's going against these uh, tri uh, triangle and two defense. Northern Valley's got two defenders that are uh, mirroring. Um, Stoll and Miller the entire way around. Stoll still fights in and grabs this rebound. This one is going to be all on the floor. And it's got to be tied up, and it is tied up. And Northern Valley will take this one on the held ball position. As Tania Spear steps in, and she will be in for Braxton Cox. 6-2 early in this one. Golden Plains with the lead. Spear trying to cross over.
There's a kick ball in there as Tania Spear tried to do a crossover and get herself some room. They're doing a man-to-man -man pressure here the whole way out as quickly, a really quick hull ball on that one goes over to uh, the Bulldogs. Inside. And that's what I'm talking about there. Ashley, when she cuts, she cuts hard. And if, she, if she's near the goal, she's going to go up strong, draw a foul. I don't know how she wasn't shooting if it was a foul, but it wasn't. She caught it and shot it. Made the bucket, but it was no good. It's going to be out of bounds. Foul goes against Cox. Swing over to Roth. Roth left open. Thought she was going to fire three. She decides to do better with it. Now this one's going to be a foul on Work as as Walk uh, Work right. Is that yep. his Morgan Work. Morgan Work uh, missed the easy one and then and then tried to fight for that rebound. Gets called for the foul. Her first, team's second. Sub coming on in as we'd like to get a little bit of flow to this one here. It's, it's a little rough here in the first two minutes of this one. Here's Vesteca to play it in. Looking for somewhere to go and then pull out denial. It's Golden Plains and they'll try and they'll try and trap that first one across as Tania Spear makes a good path. Vesteca now to the rim and a foul gonna go against Brooke Stoll. Brooke Stoll's second personal, team's third foul. Subs coming in galore. Uh, the senior um, Spear coming in, Jaden Spear and Braxton Cox in. Uh, Austin Cox to sit, Shaley Vesteca to sit. Also a sub in there, Sydney Taylor now in for the Bulldogs. Into the corner to Spear. Swing to Whitney up top, and that pressure man to man defense. They got a screen and roll and move and cut to the basket if they're going to find some offensive. Uh, play here as Baird goes to the rim. No foul call there, and, and she will be a great defensive play. A long forward pass goes all the way up the court. Nice play there by Brooke Stoll as she gets back and wide open as Wrath buries the three. Is that what she does all the time? Yeah, she can shoot pretty well. She shot pretty well in middle school. She shot pretty well last year when she was in. And so uh, Brooke, or that was, uh, yeah, Brianna Roth who buries that three. She's shooting from three. What is that? 20% on the season, but man, it looked a lot better than that as she buried that open opportunity. Northern Valley in a five out against this man-to-man -man defense. Cutting, moving, trying to get some offense here. Started as Baird's at the top of the key. Pick and roll here, Braxton. And Spear, a cutting Baird. She's going to catch. She's going to get a shot off. No good. One opportunity. And, and Sydney Taylor with that rebound. Wow. Oh, great possession there by the Bulldogs. They quickly get it to the rim. They just cannot capitalize on it. They missed a couple bunnies in there. But this one is put up and in by Brooke Stoll. Brooke Stoll's fourth bucket or fourth point of the game. into Mary Baird, stolen out of there by Cassie Miller. She finds uh, Brooke Stoll for another bucket, give her six on the evening. Timeout here by Coach Cox. We'll take it with him as Golden Plains has opened up to a 13 to two lead. It's, it's been pretty well, you know, that press seems to be working pretty well for them. You know, they're physical down low, getting rebounds, you know, and that's all you gotta do in basketball. Absolutely right. Their defense has been stifling. Uh, open three-pointer attempt there by Mary Bear goes begging, but uh, the rebound could not be controlled over there by Ashley Stoll. How about uh, uh, defensively here? What are you seeing? Looks to be like they're running man. Yeah, they're running a pressure man-to-man, -man, not letting Northern Valley get a whole lot established and going as they're trying to get um, 
uh, some action to the rim here as Cox misses this one. And a jump ball. It's held and it's going to go to Northern Valley. Spear and Cox tie that one up with uh, um, Ashley, Stoll. Ashley Stoll. And we've got a new one in here. This is Carly Neiman. Yep. Carly Neiman now into the game. Carly Neiman's a 5'10 junior. This ball into Mary Berry goes off her hands. Now it's into now it's into Ashley Stoll. You got to stop her with that dribble. Roth inside quickly. Nice dump pass. It's going to be uh, the bucket's going to go to Ashley Stoll again. They're sharing the ball well, aren't they? Yeah. And that's something they've done well every year. They don't really care who scores it. They just want to score it, right? Right. Another steal here for the Bulldogs. Into the corner is wide open as Stoll thought about a three, took one dribble in and cast a long jumper. Cox down the sideline. Nobody takes Mary Baird. A little short jump shot, no good. Jaden Spear with the rebound, looking for where to go with it. Fires it to the rim, no good. But she's going to go aggressively after that one. She's going to pick up the foul. Jaden Spears first foul. And uh, the team's fourth foul currently on the night. As we work under two minutes to go here in this first quarter. Some more subs in here. The bench is getting a little bit long. Uh, Raina Taylor now a 5'6 junior into the game as well for the Bulldogs. Ashley Stoll. Nice little dump pass here again. She does a great job of penetrating into the middle and dumping that ball off. Good bounce pass by, by Reyna there. Oh, it's, I was like, is it going to stay? Is it going to stay or is it going to go? And it uh, rolls out, does not go down. Foul goes against Spear quickly, two against Spear in the half. To the line is Miller. Making the first one with ease. That didn't hit rim. Second one also up and good for Miller. She's a 52% free throw shooter on the year. She ups that percentage by hitting both of them here tonight. Steal in there by Stoll. Now it's up to Neiman. Neiman tries to score that one. Stoll fights for a rebound. She fights for another rebound. And we're looking to see where it's going to go against. Cox picks up her third on that one. Cox picks up her third foul on that one. Inside, no problem scoring this one for Neiman. That was good patience on, on on Rexford's part there. You know, waiting for the waiting for the open guy to get open and and get that good shot right there off the block. As Coach Parker uh, Christensen yells, let's run a little high low here. As Northern Valley's fell into a two three zone here, looking for a shot up, and they find it with uh, Taylor. This one's going to be no good. And the rebound is all over the place as Braxton Cox comes out of there with it. Wolf is stealing it as the motor on Ashley Stoll never stops, does it, Harley? No, she's she's all gas, no brakes. <laughs> and it's working quite well as that's her second consecutive steal on two possessions here for Rexford. They find her open for the short jumper. She shoots, she scores. When a girl gets in rhythm like that and has the confidence, you know that ball is going to go right through the hoop. And Ashley Stoll has done it a lot here in this first quarter. She's got eight. Spear now in for Braxton, and also we're bringing back in um, Rath for the Bulldogs, as well as Wart. Morgan coming, checking back in, and Carly will sit. As they pulled off the dog, so to say, right here with 30 seconds left, they pull off that pressure into a half-court pressure. Stephanie Whitney going to the rim, going to have a blocking foul quickly on Wark. 
Stephanie Whitney does a good job of pressing the issue on a lot of those going right to the rim and, and, and causing a foul or getting to the rim and getting a layup. This time she gets a foul on Warwick, her second, team fifth. Inside to Spear, Spear turns, shoots, no good. Warwick comes out of there with a rebound. Now to Stoll. All the way into the corner to her sister, Brooke Stoll fires the three, no good. Long rebound bounces all the way back out to Rath. Stoll going to get a second opportunity up and in with the glass as we go 3-2-1. That's going to be the quarter. A big first quarter for those Golden Plains Bulldogs. Uh, Throwing the ball of the, of the full court press they had. You know they did a good job boxing out and not letting second second chances come about. And once you do that, you, mean you score points. Set play out of the quarter break. Open three there for Brooke Stoll, but she comes up short on it. Stolen in there, and the ball just is just is coming right to everything here. Here's Rath that'll have this, and it'll set the offense here for Golden Plains. Sydney Taylor into the game here, into the corner, as well as uh, Brooke Stoll dribbles around two defenders with a jump shot up and in. Brooke now with 10 in the game. Open shot for Cox. Swish on that three-pointer for Austin Cox. Open in here is the corner. We got a new Emma uh, Weiner was now into the game. Long three there by Stoll, no good. Long outlet here to Spear as she dribbles out and tries to reset the offense. Nobody guarding uh, Cox is, is uh, now Taylor matched her three-pointer, two-pointer up there by Spear. An air ball controlled by um, Weiner. To Rath inside for an open look. Great cut, great offense. Sydney Taylor is the beneficiary, and she will score the bucket. As we're going to have a 30-second timeout. Just got to slow down and not, not get frustrated with, with the press and, and the defense that, that, that bull, the Bulldogs are putting on them. Bulldogs defense is just stifling as they come away with yet another one. And this fouls as uh, Roth. Roth went hard to the floor after this one. Whitney's going to get the foul call on this one. Stephanie Whitney picks up her first. And team six, after this, Golden Plains will be in the bonus from here on out. Northern Valley fell back into a 2-3 zone now. Ball to the floor, ripped out of there, coming out of it with Stephanie Whitney. Cox around them all to the rim, up and in with that bucket. She scores it. Nice move there by Austin Cox. Let's see if I can hit the replay button, see if it comes in here. We got it. She pump fake, goes around the defender, through the wall, up and in with the foul. She goes to the line to see if she can capitalize on the three-point play. That one is up and good for Austin. Give her eight. 29-8 here, Golden Plains out to a big lead here into the second quarter. First round matchup here between the number one seed and the number eight seed. Rath is gonna fire a three, and she's gonna say, Austin, that wasn't quite enough because I stepped back and I hit a three, and I got fouled. Let's go to the replay button there and watch that one happen. I was a little late on the replay button, but Rath splashed that one down. She'll go to the line for a four-point play. And she missed it. I think she was the uh, contestant that was in the uh, free throw competition. I could be wrong. The cleaning up in that mess is Brooke Stoll. She'll knock down the uh, offensive rebound and put up her uh, points on the board. Brooke has 12 in the game. Turnover in the corner. I didn't see it, Harley. What happened over there? I, I didn't see it either. That's all right. Roth to skip pass over here to Weiner. Weiner excuse me. Inside to Stoll, she's been on fire and she stays on fire. You know, she doesn't take any, too many long sh shots, but she gets inside, gets a good look at it, and she scores, giving her 14 in the game. Traveling out front here on uh, Mary Baird. 
And we got some subs coming in here. It was Rebecca Hendrickson in for the first time for Northern Valley. Uh, Braxton Cox, Shaley Vesteca, uh, Spear, and, and Austin Cox to set it for Northern Valley. When I run down the uh, Carly Neiman and Ashley Stoll, Brooke Stoll, and Emma Weiner are the five here for the Bulldogs. As they work around this zone defense, Northern Valley's kind of slowed them down here. Stoll, as I just said, didn't fire too many long shots. Fires this one, comes up a little short, and she's going to get whistled for the foul on this one as uh, Vesteca grabbed that rebound and was heading that the other direction. They kind of got their feet clacked together, and that's an unfortunate foul, but it's, a, it's always going to be a foul when a girl goes to the line. And uh, it's something the officials got to call on that one. Vesteca to the line to shoot the one and one scenario. We've got a substitution in here as, as Stoll. No wonder she was upset. That's her third personal foul here in the first quarter. Vesteca to the line, up and in for Shaley. Give her one. She's got a second attempt coming at it. Raina Taylor is now back into the game for Stoll. And Stoll's probably going to sit the rest of this half out with those three fouls. Vesteca's second attempt is also good. Northern Valley, if you want to look at something that's positive, they're three for three from the free throw line. How about that, Harley? Yeah, how about that? <laughs> As the Bulldogs work it around, fire another three, and that one is fired in there. You want to explain that one by Emma? Just the girls can shoot. All of them can shoot, you know. Just work the ball around, be patient, and, and open shots come up. Cox open for three. This is Braxton Cox. This one's going to be long and no good. Up pass, skip pass here to Stoll. Now back over here. It's going to be picked out of there and out the races is Shaley Vesteca up and in. And good for Shaley Vesteca. She's got a quick four in this one. Good dribble penetration kick for a wide open shot. The kind, gentle roll. Cassie Miller knocks in that three-pointer. That's just tough to defend in the zone situation where the one girl takes it in and uh, makes a good pass out to a wide open shooter, ready to shoot it. And when she does, she catches, she releases, and it goes in. Hendrickson trying to find where to go with it, trying to get it to Braxton, ripped out of there by uh, Stoll now all the way up front is going to be a little too much for Carly Neiman and it'll be out of bounds Northern Valley to take over looks like Sydney Taylor's now into the game along with Amy Cheney Cheney or Cheney 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 so Amy in here for the first time today Still in their traditional man-to-man -man defense, covering every passing lane tight. Braxton Cox finds Jaden Spear open on the baseline. Jaden capitalizes. 42-14 early here in this one. Open shot for just the person. Amy Cheney just stepped into the game, fires that three, no good. Rebounded uh, in there and had another uh, attempt at it was Raina Taylor, but she couldn't make it go either. Braxton Cox drives baseline, misses her jump shot, and off to the races now as the Golden Plains up in front of everybody. Ashley stole a nice play. She got that long pass there from Cassie Miller. That, that's, that's what a junior and senior are going to do for you every time is run the floor and run the whole game long, giving you all the effort and all what you need. Cox to the rim again, finds an open Braxton Cox. She's got an open shot, no good. Cassie with the rebound, Miller to push once again. If you got a stop ball, stop ball. And uh, she just, just couldn't keep track of that one. It's going to be turned over to the Huskies. Dead ball out front is not something that they need here. As to the ground is, is Neiman and Cox. And we've got a foul. As both players are laying on the ground, 
Uh, they're going to get Ashley stole for the foul on a hold. I wish I could have seen it because it was kind of covered up, and I don't think I'm fast enough to get to the replay button there. No, I wasn't. It would have been good for me to be paying attention here. Anyway, Austin's the best beneficiary of this one. She's going to go to the line to shoot a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Cox breaks the streak of uh, free throws there for the Northern Valley Lady Huskies. Inside quickly to Shoal. Beautiful play up and in. Ashley Stoll is quite a player. She averages uh, just over um, uh, almost 12 points a game. She's got this one. She's got her average already. and She's got 12 traveling in the, call, in the corner there by Mary Baird. It's going to be another turnover here for Northern Valley. Stoll, quite the player and quite uh, uh, impressive here early on here for the Bulldogs. As, no, as they whip it around and around and around and up and down for Raina Taylor for three. That's that's just pretty impressive. Is that what you anticipated here, Harley? Yeah. All these girls can shoot pretty well. I mean, they work hard in practice, you know. They always say hard work pays off. Well, hard work's paying off right now. Yeah, they did. They, they had great ball movement and were able to find open shooters. Open shooters with confidence tend to knock them down, and that's exactly what uh, Raina Taylor did there. Second foul on Ashley Stoll, and she will go. No, excuse me. Who got that foul? That is that Ashley Stoll. I thought it was her third foul the last time around. Um, did we have? I didn't see what that was either. Do we have a lane violation? I'm not sure. Or Austin make the first one and the second one. I know she made both. Okay, well, and that's what it was. It was a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Austin now uh, makes both those free throws. As the Bulldogs swing it around that top of the key, working against this zone. Rath over there in the corner for a three. No good. Stephanie Whitney with that defensive rebound. As Rath picks her up right there at half court, good good defense there by her. She's tornado out there on defense, isn't she? Whitney trying to find somebody, find Spear. Pump fake it around everybody. Goes Austin Cox with a little jumper up and in. Big game here for Austin Cox with 12. As 49-18 uh, now. The uh, Bulldogs up big. They keep working it around here. The ball doesn't touch the floor. Two-pointer. Would have been a three-pointer if Amy Chaney would have backed up another, what, two or three inches? As the time goes to five seconds or four seconds, and this is probably going to take us all the way to half. What a half if you're a Golden Plains Bulldog uh, fan. 51! 51 in the first half against Northern Valley's 18. We'll be back with your halftime stats and your messages uh, from your boosters that make all this possible here on OpenSpacesSports.com. We'll uh, hit your camera and your color from here on out for this one. As man-to-man, uh, -man, they start here once again on the Bulldogs. Do they even have a zone defense, really? I mean, do they? Austin Cox with a nice little spin move here. Nice jump shot up and in for Austin. They fall into that zone defense and, and uh, uh, inside out. That's how you beat the zone. Uh, you give that three in the books to Rath, but the, the really the, the person who makes that play is Morgan. Uh, Morgan work, walk, uh, work as, she, as she made a beautiful pass outside to that wide open three. Swing it all the way around to Miller. She'll fire the three. This one is no good for her. Chase down into the corner. Cox comes away with it. And Northern Valley's got numbers if she pulls it. She's going to hesitate. Now try and find an open Vistek, and she does. Now to Whitney. Long jumper for Braxton Cox. Had her fit on the line, but the ball goes through there for Braxton. 
Northern Valley comes out and hitting their first couple buckets here. Uh, this is just kind of the confidence they need to just see the ball go through the rim. I talk about it day in and day out here on the broadcast because Northern Valley, I get to do every game. This steal here by Austin drops it over to Vesteca. Vesteca now back to Austin. Goes around finding a uh, shot there by Baird. It's tipped on that three-point attempt by Miller. Miller gets the block shot, but Northern Valley gets the ball back underneath. And they'll tune it in here with Cox. As she slaps the ball, trying to find somewhere to go with it. And she's going to about run out of time, and she will run out of time with that one. His five-second penalty is... Uh, you, 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 we could feel it in here. I think the, the man in stripes was even giving her a slow count on that one. What do you think, Arlie? Yeah, and that's just, that's just good defense on, on the GP girls there. I, I, I wish you'd have started with that GP stuff because I love it. Uh, the GP girls, I love it. Into the corner here is uh, Stahl. Inside now to Cassie, and she misses this one. As, uh, can you believe it? They've missed a couple shots here. They hit the one three, and that was that was about it so far in this half. Four. Uh, as Spear goes to the or Spear Whitney goes to the rim. She's going to get a foul call. The foul's going to go against number thirty. Ashley stole three, three on Ashley. Just an aggressive defensive player. That's why you can get away with putting a lot of people in there. Vesteca tries to get this one, has a second opportunity in it. Shaylee Vesteca now with six in the game. Wide open shot here for Stoll, and she buries it. She did a little pump fake and went around, and she came up and shot the jumper, and she nailed it. Uh, it's very difficult to defend. Cox fights for it inside. Kick over to Vesteca. No good on that one. Long pass into the corner for Roth. Now to Stoll. Finding a wide open. Brianna Roth for three. Splash. Man, that girl can shoot. You've been telling me all game, man. Great defense there by Roth again as she pokes it free up in front of everybody. Cassie Miller, you know what? If she could dunk it, she probably have dunked it on that one, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> she was out in front of everybody. Baird tries to go around him on the side. Now she gets it back into the corner, trying to get the ball to Cox. Stepped on the line there was Stoll. And Northern Valley will keep possession. The restraining line is in play there. I don't know how they run that here. No, there's no restraining line. Then she what? was out of bounds. No, I mean, on the how do they play that in this gym? There's a restraining line there, but it's, they don't play it? Yeah, they don't play it. They don't play it. Okay. Okay, so it's more like for a practice deal, isn't it? Must be. I, sure. <laughs> I'm going to ask the appropriate authorities. What do you think? As the foul there is... Vesteca tried to make a move. I thought she was going to call for a travel, a hold on Brianna Roth. Vesteca trying to find somebody to go in and find Spear into the corner. Whitney. Now to Spear. Rebound. Ashley Stoll, if she pushes to find a wide open. Brooke Stoll, this one just short. And Vesteca fights her for the rebound and comes out of there. Ball loose. Oh, big collision. What's going to happen here? That's the second time that big collision. Back in is Northern Valley. I played in here on the side. Spear now to Cox. Working across on Stoll, pull up, jump shot up and good for Austin. Skip pass, followed by another skip pass, followed by a wide open shot in there, missed by Roth. Rebound, scrummed in there for 
And the beneficiary of all of that is Miss Ashley Stoll as she cleans it up and puts it in. Giving her 14 on the game. Now, that Cass, a, go ahead. That was a good job on, on Sydney for not giving up on that board. And she stuck with it and was able to get it to Ashley, get a bucket out of it. Trying to find out where to go with that ball. Nothing fluid here on the offensive side here for Northern Valley. As Cox turns it over. And Braxton to come in. Austin will sit. Baird to come in. Also for uh, GP ladies, uh, we'll have uh, Carly New Neiman. And who else came into that game? Um, Rihanna Taylor is also in there. I'm sorry if you're tuning in here on that Golden Plains side. Here is, is wide open three by Taylor. It's going to be no good. Saved. Great play by Stoll getting another opportunity for her teammates. And this is another opportunity, but no shot. It's going to be on the ground. Good fight for that ball was around Taylor. Um, the hustle factor is uh, tremendous here for Golden Plains. As, uh, I do know the Northern Valley girls a little bit more. I've done every Northern Valley game this year. Uh, this is the first time I've seen Golden Plains, and they are impressive. Here's Cassie Miller in the corner. Buries that three. You know, everybody knows that's coming on that out inbounds plays, and they still make it work, and she still buries it right in their eye. Baird to the rim. Skip pass now to Braxton Cox. Open for her own three on the wing. No good. Uh, Jaden Spear controls the rebound now to Tania Spear. Mary Barrett inside, turns, no good, and the rebound torn out of there by Taylor. That's her second quick rebound. She fights really hard for those rebounds. Up quickly is another Golden Plains. They get GP girls of getting opportunity after opportunity after opportunity here. Offensive boards. Here's another one. It's going to be off of them, going to go the other direction because they fought two of them for it. They are just absolutely controlling the offensive boards. Harley, your turn. Go. Yeah, uh, that's that's one thing about the GP girls is, is you can't let them get second chances. I mean, they didn't capitalize on that one, but majority of the time they're going to capitalize on a second chance. Cox now to Whitney. Whitney with that left hand gets into the lane, but man, pulled out of there by uh, Brianna Rath, and she's going to uh, be fouled in there by Whitney. Whitney picks up her second, team second in the half as she was taking out a little bit of frustration there as Rath just picked it from her. Skip pass again. And wide open this time as Brooks stole. This one's no good. And Braxton with the rebound, two on one numbers if they can get there. Tania Spear tries to take the jump shot. Big collision underneath. We've got four GP, five GP girls on the ground during that possession in a 40 point game. Yeah, that it's just, you know, Parker has them with no no slacking. It's all hustle. Hustle everywhere. Uh four of or five all five girls hit the floor into that possession, going after the loose ball in a forty point game. Man, that that is something that is awesome. Cox pressing the issue here, one on four. Trying to figure out where to go with it. Ball's dead now into the corner. Whitney tries to go for it. She was out of bounds as it looked like Carly Neiman had the steal. She must have just barely got to the out of bounds line. Northern Valley will continue as we work it right at about 30 seconds to go here in the half. Good steal by Stoll. She just stepped right in that passing lane. Stoll whips it around here to her sister, Brooke Stoll. She'll bury the three. I, I wish I'd have kept track of the points here from the three-point line because they have absolutely uh, been spectacular from there here in this second half. Blocking foul in there on, uh, on Stoll. As Ashley picks up her fourth foul on that one as Whitney went hard to the rim. Loose ball tracked in here now to Cox. 
no shot to break that mic there and make sure that you you get into your word count in because I've gotten plenty in. Because right now we're into the fourth quarter in a 40-plus point game. Uh, we will be running clock from here on out. It won't take long for this one to end. You're up, Harley. Go for it. Hey, okay, I'll throw you one, all right? Oh, did I not turn your mic on? No, then there you go. Here you go. How about now? Golden Plains to key it in. What are they going to do here? It's a good cut by Sidney Taylor there, down there on the low block. I mean, you can't get much better than, than an open shot right underneath the basket. That's right. They just ran that inbounds play to perfection, and when you do that, you get open shots. And just being patient is a big part of that, too. You know, the more patient you are, the more time that, that it is for people to open up and get open for a good shot. They move the ball again here. It's going to be a shot by Emma Weiner. No That's good rebound. offensive rebounds. I've been talking about it all night long here in this one. Here's a long one here by Cheney. It's good just because she had a foot on the line. Otherwise, that would have been another three-pointer in the book. Cox to the rim, up, and she's going to be fouled in there, and she's going to go to the line to shoot two. The foul will go against Sydney Taylor. Taylor's first, team's fourth in the half. She knocks down this one. Well, we talked about how in the beginning they were going to be uh, putting up 50 to 60 points a game every night as Austin misses the second one. And they did not disappoint as they sit at 73 in this one. As they bring in some of the girls on the bench, but you really can't tell much of a difference, can you, Harley? No. No. Is uh, when you look at this, is is do they have just about every girl that's available uh, out here for basketball? Most everybody wants to be a part of this, don't they? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much, yeah. In a little school, that's what you need. You need people to help participate and be in there a lot. This block, this one was blocked in there by Jaden Spear. Open three-point attempt here for Cox, and she buries it. Swing pass over, now skip pass, skip pass. I love the fact that the ball never sticks. You know, they might have missed a shot here or there, but the ball never sticks in anybody's hand a little too long. They're always moving it, trying to find somewhere to go with it as a, in a practice. I, I can't. You know, I've never seen one of their practices playing basketball myself while I was in high school. But, you know, what, what the girls have said when I was in high school, it's – it's pretty tough and pretty demanding, is what they say. Well, um, he demands a lot out of them, but he's getting a lot out of them, especially in these type of games where they can play 10 players, 12 players. A lot of players are getting on there. And uh, it's worth noting, probably one of the better freshmen on the team is Jordan Fleckenstein. And I, when I walked into the gym, I was, I've, I've known her in the past um, just because she's played against my daughter. She's in a boot. She's got a stress fracture or something in her foot that uh, she's not going to be able to play here in this tournament. And she's gonna, I talked to her before the game. She said she's going to be out a couple weeks. The doctors really don't know where, where she's going to end up on that one. But she was kind of disappointed that she don't get to play here. But, uh, you know, that's just another player here that could add to the plethora of girls that are, are high-energy girls here for the Bulldogs. Yeah, and just by watching Jordan when she was in middle school, She's got a nose for the basketball. You know, that ball comes off the rim, and you can almost guarantee Jordan Fleckenstein, you know, going to get that rebound. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's the same way with Ashley. You know, that's the same way with Brianna. Same way with all of them, you know. Parker has them taught pretty well on, on having a nose for that basketball and boxing out. 
So they went, uh, Northern Valley's jumped into a man-to-man -man defense here. Going to fight through this last three minutes of this one. And quickly, Rihanna Taylor takes advantage of it. She takes a dribble around, and nobody helps defense over, and she scores the layup. Rebecca Hendrickson now and over to Tania Spear. She'll go baseline and she'll be fouled. Go right to the line. No shot on that one as they'll throw it in underneath as the team's fifth foul. Inside to Hendrickson now back to Cox. Fires from the baseline, knocks it in. Give her 22. This one, they just, just offensive rebounds go again, and they just keep at it, you know. It's almost like, uh, it, you know, they do shoot the ball really, really well as a team, but they every shot that uh, somebody else takes, they're like, I don't think she's going to make it because they just fire in there to the de offensive rebounds, and I can't imagine how many they got today. Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. You know, the GP girls getting second opportunities is – it's tough for the other team because either they're going to get the rebound, put it up for a buck and score, or they're going to put it up and get fouled. And free throws is not something you want out of the GP girls. No, because they knocked them in as well. Yeah. Sydney Taylor knocks both of those in. 77-32. Cox has this one blocked in there by Weimer. Weiner. She's also another pretty, pretty salty freshman. She's pretty good. Emma to the rim. This one up and good. Just on, on target, man. Talk about her. She makes the defensive side on one of them. Comes up with a block shot against Cox. Rebecca Hendrickson for three. This one's going to be no good. And then she goes around and goes all the way to the rim and scores. Uh, Emma... Nice play there. And she's going to get another opportunity working around a screen. Good switch over there by Spear. And another on-ball screen. Up and around. Or This one does not fall for Rihanna Taylor, but I thought that one was going to go in for her as well. Cox skip pass to nobody. It's all right as we go under 14 to go here. This is probably going to be the end of it. I tell you what, Harley, it's, um, I'm glad you were able to get in here and uh, help me out with this one. Uh, the Golden Plains girls really showed how impressive they were here.